The ray of light from the evil seed pierced the sky, its glow reaching as far as India. And here, we find another person whose fate was entwined with the two swords. Consumed by the evil seed, yet still with presence of mind. A link between chaos and this world. You are quite the interesting one. Still, you will eventually succumb to the chaos, unless you engrave a clear image of yourself onto your soul. Hopefully now that I lowered the music, you can hear me. I if you can keep a checks. hold of who you are, you will be able to stave off the chaos. Now arise. Take up your weapon and fight. Your life depends on it. Okay. Fight me then. Excuse me. I had lunch a few hours ago. An hour ago. Oh yeah, in case you guys haven't noticed, I've been I'm playing Libra of Souls. Look at my character. So handsome. I really hate that transition, man. It's terrifying. Creeps the Uh creeps the hell out of me. When I woke up, my head was pounding. Maybe it was a nightmare I'd had, but I could barely catch my breath or stop shaking. You're finally awake. It seems you had quite the nightmare. But um, tss. A man in a hood stood at my side. His appearance suggested someone quiet but strong-willed. My name is Zoslamel, and I know it. And I know what's happened to you. You are greatly affected by the evil seed. You escape becoming a Malfested, but I'm afraid you may not escape death. I wonder what happens if you pick a Malfested. <laughs> Let's ask about the evil seed. Alright, thanks. There's a great evil that burst forth from the Western Europe as a torrent of light and rained down around the world. Ask about the Malfested. They are beings whose bodies and minds have been twisted by evil. Symptoms vary, but some are known to become monsters. Many Malfested lose all sense of reason, become violent, and attack people. Luckily for you, fate put you on a different path. Ask about the nightmare and the headache. Your body does not appear to have been altered by the evil seed. However, it seems to have affected your soul, linking it to what is called the Astral Chaos. The Astral Chaos is a curious realm where great powers collide. In time, it will consume your soul, resulting in your death. Your nightmare and headache are a sign of what is to come. I'm done asking. If you wish to continue living, come with me. I will teach you how to extend your life. So apparently, I have a... I'm a ticking time bomb of a lifespan. The area next to Journey's Dawn is the Dojo of Drona, a martial arts master. Here you can play the battle tutorial for Soul Calibur 6. Trade before you start your adventure. I don't want to do Drona's Dojo. I already know how to fight. You can move from your current location to any location you have precisely visited by pressing... Okay. Astral Fisher. Do the Wii fight. The air was stifling, and each step... I think there was something I needed to read earlier. And each step forward required an immense amount of effort. Zoslamil, however, seemed to proceed unfazed. Eventually, my eyes were greeted by something beyond my own imagination. Ugh. That's all I can muster. That is an astral fissure, a rip in space and time. It is caused by the great power that flows through the earth and the evil dispersed by the evil seed. To continue living, you will need to obtain the power of the astral fissure. Naturally, it is easier said than done. Astral fissures exude a massive amount of force that will either destroy anyone weak who dares approach it or turn them into a malfested. However, when someone with great power approaches, a flash of light will bring with it a visitor. Whoa! 
Don't just sit there on don't just sit there surprised. It looks like you've got a fight on your hands. Guar. I'm trying to make them sound as boring as possible to make this funny. This is gonna be an easy fight. Because I know how to play grow. Battle one. Fight! Watch this! The attacker burst in particles of light that soon faded. These, those freakish warriors, berserkers, appear when the strong approach a natural fissure, perhaps in response to their power. Berserkers come from the memories of warriors who sought strength. To defeat them, you simply must be stronger. There is no other way, obviously. However, you can obtain phenomenal power from the fissure, which will enable you to continue living and provide resistance to astral chaos's attempts to devour your soul. If you can withstand the astral chaos, you will no longer have to fear for your life. Now, claim your power from the astral fissure. Encouraged by Zoslamel, I thrust my arms into the astral fissure. A surge of light burst forth, flowing through my arms and into my body. My heart pounded as my body began burning feverishly. Makes you feel like Sephiroth. As long as the scattered evil on the Earth's power remains, astral fissures will come to appear. Will continue to appear. I hear that there is another astral fissure on the outskirts of a village to the southeast. That is all I can tell you. Before you go, take this. Zasamel revealed a set of scales, on top of which flushed one blue flame and one red flame. These are spirit scales, otherwise known as the Libra of Soul. Take them. Your body is overflowing with energy from the Astral Chaos. It is the power of chaos and of order. The state of your soul will determine which power you draw from. These scales will reveal to you which way your soul is leaning. It should help you to maintain control. Now you must embark on a journey to save your life. So long. Soul surges in your body. Level four. Ah, Libra of Soul. Chapter one. The journey begins. I wonder how many chapters the Libra of Soul has. Blades of Fate. Seriously, stop that. That's creepy. Looks more Silent Hill than anything. I opened my eyes to an impossible sight. I was floating in a vast space. The ground was nowhere to be seen and the sky stretched on to, into infinity. The ruined chunks of masonry floated nearby. A broken pillar from a temple, a half collapsed house, a fallen tower, structures of every shape and size from every corner of the globe. At the center of it all was an enormous whirlpool of light. I watched as a colossal building was drawn into it, bricks ripping from their mortar and accelerating into a brilliant glow. A piece of rubble made contact and disappeared in utter silence. The light captivated me with its beauty, but at the same time it filled me with dread. Little by little, the terrible light was drawing me in. Struggles I might, I could not break free of its inexorable, inexorable grasp. I think I said that right. Slowly, ever slowly, ever so slowly, the distance between us shrank. Maybe it was destiny for myself to become entwined with the astral chaos. But I will not submit to destiny and allow myself to be consumed by that bright harbinger of death. I need strength, the strength to defy my fate.
The light drew nearer when suddenly two swords appeared before me. As I reached out to grasp the floating blades, a voice broken, broke the silence. Those who desire strength must make a choice. If you value freedom and wish for the power to pursue your own path, choose the golden sword. If you honor the virtues of harmony and reason and wish for the power to bring order to a chaotic world, choose the azure sword. Let's grab the azure sword. I want to be a good guy. I grabbed the azure sword and felt a wave of peace wash over me. My mind tranquil, my senses sharp. I raised the blade high, then struck a swift blow at the whirling light. You know, I'm kind of hoping your character gets a soul caliber of his own. Your soul resonates with the light. Next. During your journey, you will sometimes find yourself with uh, faced with moments, decisions that can charge, change your fate. Excuse me, these choices affect the game story and alter the balance of spirit scales. A mystical artifact that reflects the state of your soul. You may unlock hidden missions depending on how the scales are tipped. Oh! I can actually change the weapons whenever I want. You know, let's try the Witcher stuff. Hey you, you okay? I am very okay. You wanna be careful swinging your weapon around like that by yourself. Maybe... Oh, you were having a daymare. Have you maybe had a few too many drinks? No alcohol in me, sir. Barely conscious. I couldn't tell if the nightmares had ended. A shadow of what looked like an enemy wavered in front of me. One that seemed robust, strong, and armed. I readied my weapon. My only escape from this nightmare was to fight. I just imagine, like, if your character had all those weapons on, it was like it's a huge bag right behind him. Easy, easy there. I'm not looking for a fight. Well, it looks like I got no choice. It's Maxi boys. Worry, I'm a wizard. You're a wizard, Geralt. You back to your senses? Yes, sir. It wasn't a nightmare. I'd been fighting for real. When I came to a real, a friendly yet somewhat heroic looking man was standing before me. The name's Maxi. What do you go by? I told Maxi my name. Riki? Nice name. Don't worry, I ain't gonna steal all your possessions or anything. You know, you got skills, but as an apology for attacking me out of nowhere, how about listening to what I got to say? It's nothing bad, just a job offer. According to Maxi, the residents of a nearby village suddenly vanished one day. At the same time, a mysterious hole formed nearby, from which strange creatures had appeared to emerge. The village had believed it was those creatures who had attacked the villagers in order they'd be found and exterminated. I know how to handle myself, so I agreed to help, but they wanted me to take care of the hole as well as the creatures. Right when I was thinking I need some help, I ran into you. The reward's easier than a rare steak. How's the 50-50 split sound? The mysterious hole sounded a lot like a natural fissure. When I asked Massey where it was, Tassie, did I say that? He pointed towards the direction I was heading. I decided to accept his offer. All right then, let's do this, partner. With an assured grin, he extended his hand. In the spirit of solidarity, I grasped it firmly. I wish I can get new clothes, because I hate my armor right now. Armor no likey. I'm not one for big pieces of armor when it comes to games like these. Uh, twin dragon size. Some uh, as someone who had traveled the world, Maxi had a lot of stories to tell on our journey. 
All I hear nowadays is crazy talk. To the west of the continent, some lord suddenly went nuts in another town. It was a massacre that wiped out the entire population, but nobody knows or knows who or what it co what caused it. Even we were attacked once by a bunch of creeps with red eyes. Maxi was captain of a pirate crew who was venturing around the globe, yet he didn't speak in an aggressive or threatening tone. You know, I forgot to ask. What's given you the travel bug? Wary of saying too much, I mentioned there was something I need to take care of at the astral fissure created by the evil seed. Never heard of it. Some of my new, some of my crew members might know something though. I'll ask around. Man, I'm beat. I'm gonna turn in for the day. See you. See you bright and early tomorrow. Mm. Stop that! I hate that so much. It's creepy as hell, and I don't want it. I woke up with a splitting headache, the remnants of a nightmare flickering in my mind. What's up? You were calling out in your sleep. Here, drink up. I thanked Maxine and told him it was nothing. My headache had subsided, but I wasn't going to be getting any more sleep. Fight! 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 Halron. During my travels with Maxi, we came across a friendly young man who said he shared the same goal as us and, a pro and had a proposal. I don't have any food. Fight me. Suddenly, I heard a voice from behind me. When I turned, there was a young man standing with a smile on his face. He gave us a small ro nod. Rod. Greetings. I may, may I assume you're also heading through this forest as a on a mission to hunt monsters? Yeah, we are. You too? Yes, my name is Haran. Please tell me I'm saying that right. I heard there were others who had accepted the mission, so I thought I would introduce myself. I see. I'm Maxi. This is my partner in crime, Ryuki. I put myself in caps for no reason. I don't know why. I have a uh, suggestion. How about we join forces? When I signed up for this mission, my intent was only to save those in trouble. I have no problem with splitting the reward with you. Sounds like a plan, but I'm going to give you a test of your skills first, you game. Yes, of course. Let us begin. I'm not good with killer characters. They're, he's kind of iffy for me. Battle one. Fight. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Spartan kick is massive. You win! Just imagine hitting them at that distance. You win. I must say, your aggressive style is impressive. You're not so bad yourself. Where'd you pick up those staff skills? At Ling Sheng Su alongside my brother. To be honest, I thought I'd fare better against you. Nah, you did good. I feel like it should be me asking you to join forces. You're with me, right, Riki? Nod. The net settled. Horan, you're on the team. Welcome aboard. Thank you. As a sign of my new of our new friendship, how about one of Ling Sheng Su's famous cakes? No one should fight on an empty stomach. Deal me in. Come on, let's dig in. I got money. Horon's mooncake. To the astral fish. I want to go astral fishing. Aha. Qualifiers. 
A group of men stood blocking our path. They claimed to be part of an organization called the Qualifiers and were clearly not here to make friends. And were clearly not here to make friends. Stop right there. What are you doing here? We Qualifiers watch over the area ahead. Those without permission proceed to proceed will be turned away. You know, I feel like these guys would uh, have the voices of the Ginyu Force. Qualifiers. I've heard the name from some rumors going around recently. Something about saving humanity. Quit babbling. Get out of here already. We're only here to hunt monsters. If you share the same mission, it would, be it would benefit us all to work too. Dang it. <clears throat> You think I was born yesterday? You're just trying to get up, get to the actual Fisher. That's Lord Aswells, and I'll be damned if you get in his way. Nashville Fisher? Isn't that the thing you were talking about? I knew it! Daniel! These ruffians are trying to disrupt Lord Aswell's plans. We should kill them before your eyes. Enraged, the man readied his weapon. Hold it, Veltro. He would hate us for it. He would hate for us to fight other people. The man let out a deep sigh and his blade pointed out to continue to talk. We don't want any trouble, just leave. It's for all our sakes, if you get me. It looks like they're not budging. Time to kick ass and take names. That just means we can skip to the good bit. Quit whispering. Ah, oh, I felt will slay all those who, stay, who stand in Lord Azul's way. I'm seriously wondering how many chapters there are here. This map looks pretty big. Probably gonna take me more than an hour to do this. Three kick combo, nice. First the left, then the right, then a boot to the head. I think it's better if we stand down, Valtro. Let's go. Damn you to hell. Next time we meet, you won't escape my wrath. I think that's what he said. <laughs> escape my blade. Okay, never mind. Going by what he said, what they said, it would seem Lord Aswell hasn't arrived. Yet. Let's head over before things get start to, uh, start to get messy. For a guy who is meant to love all humans, why is he attacking all of us? Two-handed sword level four. Hmm. New katana. You acquired a weapon. To equip weapons you've gathered across the weapon access the weapon list in the triangle menu. New weapons can have benefits such as improved attack power, critical rate, and bonuses. Use every tool in your arsenal to become the foes who stand to overcome the foes who stand in your path. Uh. Weapons you require have level restrictions. You cannot equip uh, weapons that have a higher level than your character. To equip stronger weapons, uh. excuse me, you will need to raise your character's level by completing missions. I already know about this one. Staring into the abyss. Oh my god, you look hideous. Let's see what this level 4 katana is all about. Oh, it's a Mitsurugi, never mind. Damn it! That is the hole we are talking about. Give me a break, that ain't just any hole. How troubling. 
It is certainly beyond our ability to handle. Not for me. Hey, partner, is that what you were looking for? I nodded. Maxi shook his head in resignation. Sounds like the rumors about monsters appearing were true. With a burst of light, a warrior appeared in the natural front. It, it let out an earth shaking roar as it readied its weapon. Grrr. Gar. He has a tiger scarf. Great. I knew this wasn't going to be easy. Guar. Seriously, you can sound more boring and be funny at the same time. Sounding boring makes things funny. Battle one. Fight. Take this. Okay, I kind of that's kind of my fault cuz I was testing junk out. I feel like throwing. Oh, damn it. Out. Oh. Out. God, I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> the fallen warrior burst into the light that soon faded. We done? Jeez, what was that all about? The creature appeared to be human, but it was left no trace of its existence as though it were a phantom. I'm pretty sure the marks on my body count as traces. Okay, so what about this hole? Staring into the seemingly eternal blackness, I thrust both of my hands into the fissure. Hey, what are you doing? The boy, what you doing? Ta-da! The hole just vanished. What the hell did you do? I told Maxine horror on everything. After a long pause, Maxine gave a slight nod. Okay, well I got no reason to doubt you after what I just saw. Agreed. I've never seen some bizarre things in my li I've seen some bizarre things in my life, but nothing like that. How are you feeling? Like a new man. The mission's done, so may as well rest up here while I check if the road's safe. I'll go replenish our water supply. Riki, some sweet should help you per should help perk you up. Help yourself. Thanks, Horan. You're a nice guy. Your soul surges in your body. Aw, I didn't get a new weapon. Gin wheat seeds. The man in black. I should probably change my weapon. Uh, let's see. That was Kalagbulg? Let's go with the Witcher weapons again. I don't want to do a mirror match. The actual Fisher is gone, and I think I may spy the—I think I spy the culprit. What happened here? 
I do not know. However, something feels off. Looks like Horan's twin brother. It may be something in their possession. We must deal with it at once. Just stay back. As the man in black readied his weapon, a chill ran down my spine and I felt a rush of bloodlust. I do not know what you are, and I know you possess a natural power. Show it to me if you dare. Fine then, Gro. Fight me. Fight me because we're already outside. How about that? Oh my god, he's level 10. Owie. Fire! Hmm, not bad. The man relaxed his stance and put away his weapon, causing a stir amongst his allies. Are you certain? Is it really wise to let an outsider get away? I have obtained all the information I need. Ask him who he is. Ask him why he attacked you. Do not, do you not see what has become of you? Hey, what's going on? Fall back, sir. Sir. Maxi ran over and stared hard at me before speaking. You okay? What was their deal? And what was with that weird getup? Haran returned, and he also realized something was wrong. I found some water. Did something happen while I was gone? Yeah, Riki was attacked by some freaky group. A freaky group? Like bandits? They didn't look like bandits. Well, well, at least everyone's safe. I think our way ahead's safe, but we should stay alert. Those freaks may come back. Your soul surges in your body. Soul Chronicle Hidden Record Grow. Astral the Astral Fisher beckons. Chapter 2, Spirit Scales. I cannot use this feature yet. Okay, I guess that's it for this episode. If you guys liked the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! I'm sugar baby, the real sugar baby. All you other sugar babies are just imitating. So won't the real sugar baby please jump up? Please jump up, please jump up. Cause I'm sugar baby, the real sugar baby. All you other sugar babies are just imitating. So won't the real sugar baby please jump up? Please jump up, please jump up.